saw that one chasing it up. I'm in about 23 feet of water, the Butler Chain of Lakes. Fish are schooling, but they're not staying up. So I'm chasing them around with a combination of my Mega 360 and my Mega Live Target Lock. Every once in a while, they come up blowing up, but I can't stay on them. I'm throwing a wobbler from CPF Lures and on a quarter ounce jig head and just kind of yo-yoing it through the water column, watching them hit it. One after another. They're not big fish, but they're super fun to catch and you never know when you might find a bigger one. Just got a little watermelon red wobbler on there on a quarter ounce jig head. Yo-yoing it through the water, watching it sink. Let's see if I can find some fish here. There's one. I'm seeing big schools of them. Oh, missed him. See if he'll come back. There he is. Oh, come on. Oh, here comes some more. Eat it. About to eat it. Eat it. Why well, one didn't want it? Stay tuned. Oh, that a bigger one? Just meaner one. It's all right. 24 feet of water. The wobbler. A little bit bigger. Skinny though. You'd think these fish would be fatter because all they're doing is eating. I had a biologist tell me one time about it though. They're eating these tiny little min minnows and shad and it's all about the calories, the caloric intake. They're burning more calories than they're taking in, chasing this little bait around. So they're getting skinny or they're staying skinny. It'd be like running two miles to get an apple. Probably wouldn't put on much weight doing that. There's some. Drifting. Oh. She eat it, yo, oh. About to eat it again. There you got it. That's awesome. I don't care how big they are. I don't care if you say this is like playing a video game. It's fun. Watching fish, eat your bait. I don't care how big they are. I missed one, saw my bait come up. And the whole school went down after it again and watched them eat it. Pretty awesome. Let's talk about why the fish of the Butler chain of lakes here in Windermere, Florida are so small these past several years or why we haven't been catching as many big fish as we used to. Because nine, eight, nine, ten years ago, this was the place to come to catch big fish. I did a lot of guide trips here and I can remember counting the days, how many days in a row where we were catching, you know, multiple fish, 10 or 12 fish a day over five pounds. And it would repeatedly take in the mid twenties 
to win the little club tournaments that went on on this chain. And lakes are cyclical. You've probably heard that before where they'll have good years, so many good years. It's like everything. Then they'll, they'll it's peaks and valleys. Then you'll have years where they don't do as well. And this is in one of the, definitely in one of those valleys right now. You can catch a pile of fish. I fished here last week and we probably caught 25 or 30. And I think, you know, 90% of them were on top water. So it's fun and you're, it's not like there's no big fish here, but we're not catching as many. Where it used to take, like I said, in the mid 20s, 25, 26, 27 pounds to win a lot of the tournaments here. It takes 10, 11, 12 pounds to win a lot of the tournaments here with the occasional juggernaut, you know, 18 pound bag. What's changed with this lake over the years is not the amount of pressure. If anything, there's less pressure because people aren't catching as many big fish. Um, what's changed is the grass. Lakes, all the lakes here, all 12 of them are full of pepper grass. Pepper grass everywhere. Big fields of it. This lake that I'm on right now, Lake Down, used to have, has always had a lot of pepper grass, but it had a good mixture of hydrilla in it also. And then you get over into the other lakes like Butler and some of the bigger lakes on the chain. They didn't have a lot of pepper grass. They had a lot of isolated hydrilla. So you'd have big, vast areas of just sand bottom with very little grass. Then you'd have these perfect mounds of hydrilla that sometimes 14 feet of water would come all the way up to the surface. And I don't know if it's from spraying or just the spread of the pepper grass, but there, you don't find that anymore. It's very difficult to find good hydrilla beds on this lake. And that's what we used to catch all those big fish off of was in and around those hydrilla mounds. So you'd have a, on the edge of a drop off here, there's lots of holes, 25 plus foot of water holes coming off of 10 foot flats. You'd have on a drop off, you'd have just vast areas of sand and then a couple big hydrilla mounds. And you could just pull up to one of those and all those big fish would either be in it or circling it. Sometimes we'd park right on top of them and spook the bait out and then you could catch the fish. Um, what's replaced those is where you'd have a clump of hydrilla here and two or three hundred yards over here, another clump of hydrilla. What you have now are big giant fields of pepper grass. And I think that's just, it's done a combination of things. It spread the fish out because they're, it's everywhere. It's also gave the, given the bait fish more room, more places to hide. So now we have these large schools of tiny shad. You don't see the bigger shad running around anymore. You don't see as many schools of shiners running around. And these fish are basically feeding so much that they're starving themselves to death. That doesn't really make sense, but like I said earlier in the video, it's about that caloric intake. They're burning 200 calories to catch 100 calories worth of bait, if that makes sense. So what we have right now is just this generation of smaller bass. Will it come back in two, three years? Might take another five years, who knows? There's still some big fish to catch out of here. You'll see a double digit fish every once in a while, but not like we used to. I did. I had a year where we had four fish over 12 pounds in one year. Um, there was a, I think it was a 12 boat tournament. One day I was out guiding. We had a close to an 11 pounder and out of those 12 boats, there was four other boats that had 10 plus pounders, so that's a third of the field. You never see that in many tournaments at all. But the lake's still fun to fish. A lot of ski boat traffic and pleasure boat traffic, but that's always been that way. But I think that's the reason is the grass has changed the most. So hopefully in the next few years, it'll we'll see some of that hydrilla come back and they'll leave it alone and get some of those bigger fish back. But right now I'm gonna just have fun catching some of these smaller fish. saw that one stay on I got off the schooling fish see if I can find some bigger ones now I'm over in Lake Butler little grass clumps and 8 to 10 feet of water 11 12 sometimes same results but they're still biting I'll find a bigger fish in here There's one. Be bigger. Not bad. Not bad for today. Today. Lots of fish out here. This 
swimming around this grass bed. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, heading in. No big fish today. Had fun catching a bunch of fish using my Mega Live target lock. That's pretty awesome. I don't care what anybody says. Watching fish eat a lure is an awesome experience. Couldn't find any big fish. I think it's a grass problem more than a fish problem. If you are catching some big fish out here, feel free to let me know in the comments and uh, some waypoints and that kind of stuff would be appreciated. Just kidding. See you next time.